Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue about how to connect the keypad TD400C to a PLC Advent 200 CPU 224HP. Okay. In this section, I would like to explain a little bit about how to uh, connect from the keypad to the PLC and then how to create the program or uh, wizard for this uh, keypad inside the program. Step 7 Microbin version 4 CV page 9. Okay. So I will use the PPI cable for connect from my PC to the PLC by using uh, one port and another port I will connect to the keypad TD400C, yes, version 2. For create the sample program or wizard. Let's go to our software, step 7, microwind, version 4, CV page 9 together. Yes, so let's go. So first open software, step 7, microwind. And then let's go to tool, text display wizard. Or uh, we can go here. Yes, wizard tab, and then choose the text display. Yes, the same. Let's see here the same. Or I can go to tool and then choose the text display wizard. Okay. Click here and then. Uh, let click next and then choose the display keypad that we want to connect for my uh, keypad I use uh, TD400C version 2 yes here version 2 then click next and uh, click next again and click next again here we can use the language that we want for me I use English and then click next here is the function that we will choose example uh, we would like to use the key yes from F1 to uh, F8, yes, we can uh, specify here. Let's see the feature. It starts from F0, sorry, F1 to F9, F10, yes. So we can uh, choose the function that we want. Example, F1 set bit. Set bit is the hole, the signal when we freeze. So if I would like to use the momentary contact, I can change. Yes. Right now I change the F1 and F2 to uh, momentary contact. It means that when we freeze and release, it will uh, turn on and off. Okay. So another key we can uh, choose here. Okay. So click next again. And then here I will uh, create the status of the status of the motor. Example motor running, motor stop. Yes. When we freeze F1, motor is running. 
when we freeze F2, motor is stopped. So uh, we can uh, define in the software also. So to create it, let's click alarm. Yes. And then click next. Then choose a full screen of text. And click yes. Here is the text that we want to show on the screen of keypad. Yes. Example, I will choose motor status is example run running yes for alarm 0 and if we would like to create one more alarm we can click new alarm and then we can uh, use motor status is stop yes so we click ok and then click next and then uh, click next again and then click uh, finish and yes for confirm so the next step we will uh, create the program that link to with uh, this button F1 and F2 for uh, start and stop the condition of motor okay so I will use the SM 0, 0.0 yes for uh, I I use uh, only one network for start and stop and show the status of alarm so I need to use the SM 0, 0.0 for all the way on if everyone would like to uh, understand more about the SM we can press F1 yes and let read it what is the function of uh, F1 sorry uh, SM 0.0, .0. yes so I can use the stop button start button and for the coin yes for status of motor and alarm so uh, example I will use F1 yeah so uh, right click here and then choose the like symbol for choose the function of the keypad that we want okay so I can choose F1 for stop, yes, and F2 for stand. So select symbol and choose F2 for stand. And then I will hold the signal by the alarm, yes. So I will use alarm 1 sorry alarm 0 for motor status stand yes that we already setting up and then hold the signal yes I will hold the signal so I will choose the alarm 0 and here is the output that we want to start the contactor or relay to control the motor so in this case I will use Q0.0 .0. yes for uh, start the motor and then I will use the alarm when stop so I can use NC okay and then choose the F0 yes so when F sorry alarm 0 when alarm 0 is turned off it will show motor is stop okay so I will choose alarm 1 for motor condition stop yes okay so let compile okay error 0 right now so right now we already create the sample program for uh, 
freeze the F2 for start and F1 for stop and also show the condition of start and stop the motor on the keypad display also okay so this is uh, how to config or wizard the display so let's download the program to the PLC and then it will link automatically from the part yes from this part to the keypad when we connect cable to the part of the keypad okay so let's download and then start the CPU yes okay let's see here right now the motor is should be show condition stop right we call alarm one is turn on so let me show on the keypad okay uh, let's see right now the motor stator is stop yes so if I would like to start I just press F2 right for start so when I press F2 yes let's see motor stator is running okay so if I would like to stop let's see the PLC also uh, show the condition also yes here so if I would like to stop, I just press F1 for stop, right? That we uh, already configured. Yes. So uh, the motor show status stop. Okay. Start again. And stop again. Yes. Start again. So I hope everyone will understand about how to reset or uh, write the program for connect with the keypad yes of the TD that we want another version we can choose from the wizard that I will sorry I already uh, show before yes so it's very important for uh, we use keypad or touch panel that we can link the data or show the data like so alarm in the display of keypad or HMI by using PLC S200. Okay. So thank you very much for watching my video. And if everyone have any question please drop comment under my video I will reply soon and I'm also sorry if I have mistake in this uh, video also because my English is not so good yes and I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more videos that I will create step by step so in this time I would like to say goodbye and see you next videos bye bye